The thing that organizes my research above all is an interest in circulation and circulation as uh, the path of cultural objects through the world, but also the ways in which the path that cultural objects takes through the world changes the ways that we can read them. I'm trained as a 19th century American literature person, but I also work in the field of children's literature and queer studies. So I'm interested in the ways that cultural objects circulate for populations who are not taken to be the normative, kind of centrally uh, imagined populations. Material artifacts kind of um, produce communities around them, but also give people a way of finding each other that they might not have known about otherwise. I've recently written an article on the ways that Hans Christian Andersen's figure of the Little Mermaid has been taken up by transgender children and their families. Transgender girls especially are really identified with the figure of the mermaid. The umbrella organization for trans children and their families in the UK is simply called Mermaids. And this is not something that I'm sure Hans Christian Andersen would have anticipated when he wrote this story. But I think there's also a, a new kind of pressure on circulation right now uh, with people kind of proclaiming the demise of the book. I don't believe the people who say that the book is obsolete, but I think once you ask the question, is the book obsolete, it opens up different ways to think about how it is that narratives circulate if they're not circulating only or exclusively in books. What I find most invigorating about research is exploring a question, taking up a question uh, that allows me to be surprised by, the, by what I find and not just to find what I predict. So for instance, I have found two children's versions of Melville's Taipei. I'm working on an article on those right now. You know, nobody knows what to do with these. And I think, so what do we do with these? Why should we care about these versions of that text? And I think that that's what my students really like about me, that they always say, oh, you always ask the hardest questions. And I think, well, somebody is gonna ask you the hard question, it should be me. And let's talk about that hard question together, because that's, you know, otherwise what we're here for. I think that that is the thing that I'm most interested in, uh, you know, when considering prospective graduate students. You know, what is the question that you have? And are you willing to think something in unusual or unpredictable ways, rather than here's how I'm going to reproduce the knowledge of a field. Here's how I want to intervene in and open up a field in ways that people haven't been asking questions about before.